Yes guys, Mr P here, another exclusive post for wonderful supporters of the page and in this video we are going to be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial for the online reading platform Pick a Tale. I'm going to show you how you can set yourself up as a teacher, import your students and create a class, browse a library and assign books either individually or to your whole class and then we're going to look at how to track all of the progress your pupils make in the dashboard and the best thing about it is it's all completely free. Let's take a look at how to do it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go to the website teacher.pickatail.school. This will now show you the login screen and you just need to create an account as a teacher. So I'm just going to sign in there as I've already created myself an account and then you will see the option here to create a new class. So if I just tap on new class there, I can then give my class a name, so let's call it 4A. Uh, choose how many students I've got, so I'm just going to add three children in for now, but I, I, I wish, I wish I had three children, but usually you could make that up to 30, but I'm just going to keep it three here. Tap on create class, and then it is a case of adding in your students. Now what you'll notice here is that we can import them as a CSV file, but I'm just going to type them in, so I'm just going to have Harry, and I'm just going to have Charlie, and I'm just going to have Lily, which uh, who are my children. We're just going to then tap on next, and then you will see that it will give us uh, a class list. So what I can do is export that as a PDF, and then when I load that up, you will see that it will give me uh, these printouts that I can share, put in the children's reading records, whatever it might be, and they can log in. So what I can now do is once I've created my class, I can browse the library. Now I can look at all different types of books or if, we, if I'm looking at a particular type of story, let's say we're looking at um, fairy tales, traditional tales, there's a book we can use. And you know, it's these different versions of the books, uh, level one, level two, level four, well, level two, level four, level five. Let's go for the level four one here. Um, and then you can see that I can add a quiz in, I can do it as silent reading, which will make a little bit more sense a little bit later. I'm gonna just untick that for now. Choose my class and then choose when the assignment needs to be finished by. So I'm just gonna to choose today. Again, you get a little bit more information about the book there. You can even view it yourself before you assign it. And then we're just gonna tap on done. So that's now been assigned to my class. Um, and then what I can do is I'm going to jump over to the iPad app to show what the children will then see. So in the app store, we want to search for pick a tail or in those little uh, printouts, those, uh, that PDF, there's a QR code that the children can scan to download the pick a tail schools app. Um, then what we can do is we can tap on open the app and then the children will just need to log in using their details. So I'm gonna log in as Lily here. So my username is GB-416. Uh, and then again, the password are 2YFC0. So we'll get ourselves logged in. Once you're logged in, you will stay logged in. And then this is what you will see. So the children will get suggested books that they can read and they can search through and read as many as they like. They can also use the search option. Just on the right hand side, they will see their profile. So obviously they can go in there and they can see or they can connect to different classes there. They'll get some details of how many books they've read and so on. And then they've got their library. Uh, we've not downloaded any books yet, but if we just go back to the main screen, you will then see that there is an assignment here. So I'm going to tap on the assignment and then we can get going. So I'm just going to press play and it will download and then we can get going. Now, Little Red Riding Hood. if you remember, a pretty the silent girl reading, let's just pause that here. Near the forest. Her name is Little Red so if you remember the silent reading, option I turned off because then it would, wouldn't have the animated narration or anything like that. So that's up to you whether you want the children just read independently or again if you want this interactive element that can be a little bit more engaging and supportive for the children that's up to you when you assign the task. Now what's great is the pictures are all interactive. Village. 
Little Red Riding Hood. So the children can tap Tree. around the screen, uh, and Bird. then obviously they can follow the text if they Riding wish. Hood. Music on, music off. If they would prefer to see it as just plain day, text, they can do. And obviously there's the option. Her grandmother and bring her some treats. So again, her we can just work through the question, uh, the text, like so. Little Red Riding Hood well goes into the wish. forest. So once the children have read through the book, I'm just whizzing through here. And again, with each picture... Hello, little girl. Everything is... Says the wolf. Why are you alone in the forest? If we pause it... Wolf. Little Red Riding Hood. Forest. Which I absolutely love. I think that's such forest. a nice little feature. And again, with, with Picker Tales, it's just a great way of supporting all the other reading the children will do. You know, this is not to replace physical books. It's to complement it. And I think the range of texts available and that interactive element is absolutely brilliant. Now, once the, the children have finished Says the book, it's now quiz time. So again, this was an option. I can assign a quiz. Uh, she lives in a village. Remember, uh, Little Red Rhino wants to pay a visit. Visit her grandma because the old lady doesn't feel well. True. There we go. So what we are, once we've finished the quiz, what we are now going to do is we are going to jump back to the teacher platform for you to see that data. We are back to our dashboard as a teacher on Pick a Tail on my computer. And what I can do now is obviously on my homepage, I've got access to my classes assignments. I can also access, access them on the left hand side. So if I do go into my class here, it will give me the data. Now, obviously, we've only had one child read so far, but I can look at which books have been read, uh, the level of those books. Uh, I've got students, all my students here, how long they've been reading for. So Lily was reading for a minute, 44 seconds. So that will give you an idea, you know, if the children are whizzing through it. Uh, so they've read a lot of books, but they're not actually reading them. They're just whizzing through. You can keep on top of that. And then you've got your assignment here. So if I tap onto that, we will now get the data for that assignment. So one out of stu three students have completed it. Students had trouble with the following questions and then most clicked words. So if there's any words that the children are unfamiliar with that they've clicked on to find out, you can then get access to that as well. So you get quite a lot of data for you to use. Um, and again, it's absolutely free to use. The wealth of text available are absolutely brilliant. And hopefully in that video, you've been able to see how quick, how, how easy it is for you to get yourself set up and how this can really complement all of the other reading that you're doing in school. So again, head over to teacher.pickertail.school, get yourself signed up, get your children set up, and then you're away.